The weather is cold enough that if I do this, my glass get fogs up. Holy sh! So the room is on fifth floor. It's called. Um, it was called the Tech Suit. We are in Century Pines Hotel. Let's see. Room zero. Let's see what kind of room is it. Oh. I have to take the part one by one. Let's see. As usual. Looks smaller than I thought it would fly, but we have a big TV, a uh, sofa, and then there's a staircase to upstairs, which is supposedly. Let's see. I mean, it's two stories, so that's pretty cool. That's bed over here. Pretty huge. That's it. What is this? Bathroom. Ooh, we have bathtub. Nice. Uh, quite small. I mean, it's not that bad. So, we can sit upstairs and downstairs. I guess it's only one room after all. It would be nice for maybe two, three people. Now the bathroom. No bathtub this time. Alright, that's about it for the room tour for now. Alright. Good morning everyone. Uh, so this is like my day two in Cameron Highland and in this hotel, uh, Century Pines Resort. And for the start of the day, I'm going to try their um, breakfast buffet that I got for free uh, after I check in inside one of the rooms. And I'll just see what kind of like food they serve in the breakfast before I will start my really long day today. That we're going to visit uh, Surrey Reform, probably some tea farm and all other tour in uh, Cameron Highland itself by using some kind of like tour guide afterwards. The tour guide that uh, will cost me around 80 minutes per person and I will show you after I have breakfast at the G floor of this um, hotel, shall we? So the breakfast starts at uh, 7 a.m. and ends at 10 I think. So I expect uh, later than usual uh, breakfast buffet that usually starts at 6. But it's fine. It's a good start of day for me. So yeah, since some part of the audio inside this video is not that clear, so I'm doing some voiceover. This is the hotel lobby. They turn off the light during daytime. And as you can see over here, this is our convenience shop that sells some stuff if you need some essential. And this is the Pants Cafe where you eat your breakfast. For walk-in, you can pay 35 ringgit per person. And they also serve uh, other a la carte food during uh, dinner and lunch, local and western set menu. So let's see what they serve inside this cafe. For breakfast, of course, we have our nasi lemak and the sambal with chicken rendang over here. The condiments for the nasi lemak is presented here and the fried kway teow also available. And this thing, it was smelling really good the herbs was so visible uh, oh yeah and of course french fries that my uh, younger sister love um baked beans and also we have some choices of greens for your salad and selection just tiny selection of white bread and wholemeal bread for drinks we have apple juice and orange juice and for the bread 
thingy we have our strawberry jam uh blueberry jam and look like chocolate but it's actually peanut butter and also this supposedly be butter by the way i already tried this peanut butter and then i will tell you it is really good it's like homemade peanut butter and then i love it so much that i can eat it just like that oh yeah coffee and tea I was wearing red that day because we're going to strawberry farm next and then it says do not use the butter inside the toaster while toasting oh yeah over here we also have our uh, cake selection of butter cake that's what we call it and also this weird um like like savory type of cake uh it's like slightly creamy taste and our fruits we have watermelons and honeydew and the watermelon was really really sweet Oh yeah, uh, that is something missing over there. I will show it to you afterward. It is for the noodle station. And over here is the soup for your noodle station soup. I mean, yeah, noodle soup station. So yeah, um, we also have uh, the traditional porridges with the other stuff. And this is the yeah noodle station noodles. And then last but not least your egg station where you can order omelette like sunny side up or other stuff right so i guess i'll be finding a place outside to sit and let's start with my round one In Singapore, you usually mark stuff with uh, maybe a packet of tissues, but not in Malaysia. You gotta at least mark it with uh, some fruit or drink. It works better that way, trust me. Alright, uh, let's start with nasi lemak and probably sausages. Um, classic plate, I like it. Safer. The sausages as well, it smells great. So, I'm gonna take some footage of me. My first reaction, oh, yeah, oranges with cordial as expected. All right, sausages, pretty soft. Kind of knew it, and of them, pretty good. I mean, you don't have it like that. Second round, third round, fourth round, probably who knows, right? So this time, of course, I'm going to get more sausages and that one over there. Excuse me, uh, can I get one omelette, please? Round two. Round two of the breakfast just now. Let me try this noodle over here. It looked very moist. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Yeah, try. It's not as good as the sausages for sure. How about the omelette? Oh, no wonder they prepare some salt. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is paper. It's my salt. Maybe it's this. Yep, this is salt. That should be paper. Alright. See you guys uh, later on. I guess. After I finish my breakfast.
Hi y'all, so next uh, I'll be going to uh, take a tour uh, to whole Cameron Highland I guess probably gonna look at strawberry farm and probably some tea farm and all this stuff around the uh, Cameron Highland city and oh yeah just now uh, we just done breakfast the breakfast was great uh, a lot of the stuff even though like the menu is not that huge but uh, the individual item is actually quite good for example um, the sausages and also the peanut butter and for the noodles it, yeah it might be a bit plain but they do like serve you I mean prepare you some salt and pepper and some of the seasoning to add the uh, to your noodles and porridges which is quite good um, the nasi lama, um even though like it is slightly less uh, fatty than I used to but the rice is actually cooked perfectly well the grain of the rice actually separated I'm not sure if that indicates a good nasi lemak or not but I kind of like it uh, the sambal a bit watery even though it's quite spicy the anchovies is slightly tough the eggs was fine I didn't get to eat the rundown though because I got too full and the only thing that I might think of improving in uh, that breakfast buffet thing was probably uh, the butter. Remember when it says like don't use the butter with the toaster? Those are not butter, uh, those are actually margarine. For me I would love some either salted butter. Unsalted butter is fine too with my toast in the morning, it's pretty good. And other than that, I have no other complaint. It's actually quite good compared to a lot of like hotel breakfast buffet in my city. I'm quite amazed. And you well, know, I got it for free or something. So that's pretty good. Alright, so uh, I will show you all uh, what else uh, I'll be doing for the rest of the day? I will show you the tour. I'll do it. I'm waiting for my brothers. He, they are still in the toilet. Yeah. After breakfast, in the toilet. I know. So yeah, on the next day, they actually changed some of the item in the breakfast. Sadly, they don't have the sausages anymore. But gladly, there was a really good mashed potatoes. So stay tuned for my next video. I'll be going to visit the Black and White Family Mart and also one of the biggest tea farm in Malaysia. If you like the video, smash the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And finally, thanks for watching!